Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. How is everyone doing today? I am exhausted, but I am also excited to be here. And before I get started, I just want to really thank everyone, all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. And also to everyone who supports me on a daily basis. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys, and I love all the comments and questions. Thank you so very much. And I have a couple of announcements after this little segment here, um, because I love doing giveaways, and yes, I'm going to get to that, but let's do this first. As usual, I'm always getting ahead of myself. So, today, I wanted to with the pouring masters again I have been loving the primal flow um, but I want to give this pouring masters another chance because um, a I bought two kits and I have a really deep feeling um, very clear that it is the pouring medium that makes this paint very difficult to work with uh, with the bubbles and all that so now, so today we're just doing black and white, and I'm excited because I love black and white, and actually black is as colorful as my paintings are. Uh, black is my favorite quote-unquote color, or non-color, whatever you want to say. So I'm just doing black and white today. I'm using the Pouring Masters, but today we are going to try the Pouring Masters paint with two different mediums, okay? We're going to do two different paintings pretty small but I just want to test it so the primal flow okay in the kit it did say that you could use this medium with any other um, paint and most of them you can but you know some mediums that come with kits are specifically for that paint but they actually said that you can absolutely use this uh, medium with other paints so I want to try the primal flow uh, medium mixed with the pouring masters and on that um, for this painting we're going to do a five by seven and I'm going to do a little swipe technique and I'm going to use this little piece of plastic as my swipe tool today okay so that's that painting then with again the pouring masters black and white we are going to use the um, Tri Art liquid glass in these cups here, and whoops, whoa, I almost knocked that over. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use this. Uh, I think this is a four by four or a three by three. Who knows? I think it's a four by four uh, wood piece that came with the uh, uh, Primal Flow paints um, in my wonderful kit, and I am going to do. I'm going to take my little napkin here, and I am going to do a reverse dip with that painting. Alrighty, so that is what we're doing today. I really want to give this Pouring Masters... Oh my goodness, I am all over the place today. Sorry guys. Um, I really want to give the Pouring Masters another chance. I, you know, honestly, some of my paintings really came out nice with the Pouring Masters. Um, like I said, there was a lot of bubbles and all that, and you had to, you know, torch it a lot, but, you know, the paint is actually really nice, the colors are really pretty, um, I think the kit that it comes with, you get a lot in it, um, but I think it's just weird that it comes with U.S. Art Supply Pouring Medium, so I don't know if Pouring Masters is, like, owned, like, or U.S. Art Supply owns Pouring Masters, I don't know, but I think that the Pouring Medium, um, you know is just not that great so yeah so we'll see about that so all right I just want to quickly show you how these two dried so this is the primal flow and I am sorry ambulance sounds um, yeah first thing in the morning I am very close to a hospital so <laughs> sorry about that New York City I can't do much about it all right um, this guy came out like like I had said I knew it was gonna come out just exactly the way um, I poured it no cracks no bubbles 
beautiful lines. Like, even though I had a lot of um, silicone in here, but look at that. It's just really gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. Um, I think they got a little darker, but not much. I mean, just it dried perfectly. And what I did on the back was I just uh, painted. I just kind of finished off uh, using some of the Primal Floor paint. So just, you know, something to finish it off, make it look a little nicer. So that's going to be a coaster. And I'm actually going to resin it with um, the resin I own currently. I haven't tried a lot of resin because I'm really, really, really new to it. So right now I use the Art and Glow uh, resin. I still have plenty left. Um, I will probably be experimenting more with different resins um, because I have a project that I want to do for Lunar New Year. And so this was the little bonus painting. I did the little 4x4 four four, and again, this dried absolutely perfectly. No cracks, no bubbles, just beautiful. Look at the detail in there. This is such a tiny little painting. But look at everything that's in it. It's just so cool. So I, I am absolutely 100% so satisfied with the Primal Flow. Um, when I don't remember the channel that I saw it on. Um, I am thrilled. And it does come from Texarkana. And their shipping is actually pretty fast. Even though you, know, you have to pay shipping. Um, <clears throat> they give you, you're paying for like a one day, they say two day, but it's actually one day, um, shipping, so it's kind of worth it. It did take, uh, by the time they filled the order, I think it was like three or four days, but honestly, that's really not that bad. And then when this little guy here, the way I finished that painting off was I painted the little, um, mini easel that it came with. So yeah, so I thought that was kind of cute. I love painting the um, the easels that they come with. I think that's a little nice touch. And yeah, so that's that. So I finished that off, and I am gonna like resin that. So with my next project, it's gonna be for Lunar New Year. And so this comes into what I wanted to talk about real quick is the giveaways. Now. I am ordering, it's already in my Amazon cart, I am ordering about 30, I think it's a, uh, a set of 30 of these round wood pieces. I got this free with my Primal Flow, but I am going to be ordering about 30 of them. Uh, I want to start doing some coasters, I want to do something, you know, some different stuff. And I'm also going to be ordering some really adorable um, stencils for Lunar New Year because it is the year of the rat and I found these adorable rat slash mouse stencils and I'm going to get two different types. I'm going to try to get two different types um, and they're adorable um, and I think each type comes with two different sizes so that's why I want to get this four inch round that way um, I think there's a three and a five inch that it comes with, so maybe the larger size I could use with like paintings, and then with the smaller size I could do these stencils. So what I want to do, start doing is, I want to start doing giveaways every month, um, regardless of like sub count, you know, goals I, I'm trying to make and stuff like that. Um, I just like, I really like to do giveaways. I love giving away stuff. I just, it makes me happy. Um, when I, the last, uh, two giveaways I did, uh, you guys were, you know, the two wonderful ladies that won, they were very happy and it, it just brings joy to my life. Um, so I want to do like at least one giveaway a month. Um, and it has nothing to do with like any goals I'm making. So for the Lunar New Year, I am going to be making some coasters and I am it to basically be like primar primarily like red and gold for the new year and I'm gonna stencil some adorable little rats on there and I'm gonna try make them as special as possible and I'm probably gonna resin them as well and I want to do I want to do is make a video making them 
And, but I'm going to order a lot of them, so I'll probably be making some for myself, making some for like friends and family to give as gifts for the Lunar New Year, along with my red envelopes I love giving away. Um, but yes, what I want to do is choose three people, so I want to make three on, uh, you know, on, during a video, and I'll be making like at least three, and I want to at least give away three of them, so that'll be one giveaway. Okay, and I'll choose three winners. All right, and even though you don't celebrate Lunar New Year, I think it's, I, you know what, you should, because it's so much fun. Um, to me, it's even more fun than regular New Year, you know. Um, then the second giveaway, which will be for my, uh, when I hit the, the mark, when I hit my goal, which is, my next goal is 300, and I'm really excited, and it happened so much faster than I thought. It's so wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. I made a decision what I want to give away. So, this is what I'm giving away. I am going to be giving away the Primal... I'm going to be buying a Primal Flow beginner kit. And whoever wins, I'm not going to ship it to my house. Um, I will ship it directly to to whoever the winner is to the your house that way I don't have to pay for two shippings you know one to my house and one to your uh, whoever wins house okay so that's what I'm going to be doing but uh, when I start creating these uh, coasters after I make them then I'll do the giveaway for that and then I will announce when the um, the little uh, contest starts when I hit my 300 okay and I think that is all I wanted to say for now. So, let's get going. I have talked, as usual, long enough. Oh my god, it is literally 12 minutes. Wow. I can talk. Alright guys, so I am going to start this project right now. Alright, stay tuned.
I am back. So, I have a couple of things to say. Uh, number one, I think this one came out really cool. Um, this is, was with the Tri Art, um, the reverse dip with the, um, the Pouring Masters back there and the Tri Art. All right, so the only thing I have to say about this is that in both of them, okay, the paint, um, regardless of which medium I use, the paint started drying really, really fast. Because maybe after, like off screen, after like a, just a couple of minutes, I just wanted to kind of like um, stretch this out a little bit and I tilted it a little bit and it already started drying. It was kind of weird. So I just stopped because I didn't want to like ruin it. So, but it did come out kind of cool. I am not mad at it. I really, I like it a lot. Um, it has good contrast in it. It has a lacing in it. You know, not bad. I liked it, okay? Um, but like the, the paint started drying really, really fast, which was weird because usually, you know, you could still work with it, you know, after a few minutes and it doesn't do that. Anyway, so this one, um, yeah, so I struggled a little bit with this one. Now, I used the swipe tool before, the, um, the little piece of plastic there, and I made, which one did I make? I think I made that one back there with it, uh, with the larger piece, uh, with, you see that painting with all the chameleon cells? I did use Artist Loft paint, and I believe, I, I don't remember if I use spot on um, silicone or not, but it reacted, you know, it reacted, gave me great chameleon cells, not a problem. So, because when I swiped it, I didn't get the reaction I wanted, so I decided at the last minute to do some chameleon cells to kind of break through the white and get to the black paint a little bit so it could like show through and give a little more contrast. Now, I don't hate this painting, um, but there's like drips in there, and I, that's like the silicone dripping around on top. This paint like dried really, really fast. So usually when I use silicone and I add chameleon cells, the pr paint breaks apart really, really well, and you get to see the colors underneath it. And I know it's just black and white, but I wanted to kind of add a little more, you know, uh, contrast so you guys could see the black through the white more. That didn't happen. I don't know, if, I think it's the paint. I'm gonna be honest with you, I think it's the paint because again, it started drying really fast. And then um, I torched it a couple of times. I then tilted it again just to get some kind of, you know, a little more dynamic composition. And to me that didn't happen, to be honest with you. And then to those like little drips there, that's like the silicone on top dripping across the paint. So it was like the paint dried within a couple of minutes. So, I mean, is it the worst paint I ever made? No. Is it my favorite? No, not really. Um, there are some, you know, nice parts to it. Uh, but again, I think, and I did use the Celtastic, um, the Celtastic uh, silicone, okay? And this is the one I used with the Primal uh, Flow. Now the other ones, it reacted, the other painting I made back there, the one I made the other day, and I can link that video right there. Look at all those cells that cr was created with the, um, you know, that's the Primal Flow paint with, you know, the Primal Flow uh, pouring medium and their um, silicone. But with the Pouring Masters paint, it really didn't react very well. So, you know, I don't know. I guess it, to me, it's the paint. You know, that's like kind of my view because usually uh, silicone kind of breaks apart the paint pretty fast. I let it sit for a while too. And it didn't do much else. I torched it a couple of times. I tilted it. And it really didn't do, you know, what I wanted, what I was looking for. I was looking for more, you know, like 
really great chameleon cells and that didn't happen um, yeah so I don't know what to tell you it's not my favorite but it's okay but but that's you know the point of um, experimenting you know um, not basically not every technique works well with each kind of paint I'll be honest with you um, I've had that experience with other paints where like with the artist loft premix you don't get any cells you just don't no matter what except the chameleon cells you have to add silicone you have to um, to get any kind of cell uh, formation it just doesn't so the pouring masters I think is kind of like that where you don't get any cells not many I torched it a lot and I added silicone which I wasn't going to but I wanted to try and save the painting so again, is it my least favorite painting I've ever made? No, but it's, you know, it's not my favorite. So maybe I will um, pour over it, because at this point, I can't even, if I scrape it, you know, it's really not going to, it, it'll probably ruin the canvas at this point. The paint dried so fast. So that's the story on this. I do like this one, so I'm happy with that. And I'm not mad at it. I really, I really like that. The the pouring, I'm sorry, the pouring messes with the primal flow medium didn't really work all that well. So that is that. So then, you know, I think the tri art works better with the pouring masters. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. You know, this is why we experiment. This is why I experiment to see what works and what doesn't. I just want to really give the Pouring Masters another shot. Um, like I guess I don't hate the paint at all. It's just that some techniques don't work well with uh, certain types of paint. You know, um, I think I did some puddle pours. The ring pours worked well, I believe. You know, there's certain uh, techniques that just work better with certain types of paint. So that's, you know, that is the story and I'm sticking to it. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and that is all for today. Alrighty, so I will see you in the next one, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.